Right now, I'm going to tell you how Abe Cunningham uses snare drum tuning to build a song. Once you hear this, you won't be able to unhear it. What up, y'all? I got a lot of great comments from the last Abe Cunningham video, so I'm coming at you with part two. I'm planning on posting a lot more regularly, so get ready for a bunch of Deftones content, a bunch of drumming content, and whatever else you'd like to see. If there's something you want me to do a video on, drop it in the comments. Thank you so much. I got a great comment asking to dive into Abe's snare tuning techniques, so that's what we are going to check out today. For the majority of Abe's career in Deftones, he has used an Orange County drums and percussion, vented 20 ply, 14x6 maple snare, and variations of a 14x6 brass snare, as well as other various Tama models. For today's videos, we will be talking about the history of these drums, and I'll use some snares in my collection and attempt to replicate some of these sounds. We will mostly be talking about sounds beginning with Around the Fur, but for you super fans out there, this is the snare that was used on Adrenaline, and it was recently auctioned off to help the organization Brazil's Indigenous People Articulation, which helps the Indigenous people of Brazil. Here are five ways to get the Abe Cunningham snare sound. Number one, crank the snare. In my research process, I never really realized how high Abe was tuning his snares. If you tune that bottom head really tight and the top head medium tight to tight, you're really gonna get that nice crack that's gonna cut through a mix. The other thing that's important to note is that Abe uses deeper snare drums. When you tune a deeper snare drum tight, you get that crack from the tightness while also getting the body of a deeper drum. In a recent interview, Abe stated a lot of his influences, and you can really hear where this snare drum tuning choice comes from. He cites Tim Alexander from the Primus Live album, Suck On This, as being a huge influence to his playing. He also references Clyde Stubbefield, Stuart Copeland, and John Stainer as being big influences. All of these drummers have a nice tight snare drum sound that really allows the snare to cut. Here's a good story. In the early days of Deftones rehearsals, Steph Carpenter, guitarist for Deftones, would go over to Abe's drums and play them. Not only that, but he would also tune them sometimes. He actually would go over and tune Abe's snares tighter than Abe had them. 
Even though this really bothered Abe, he did have to eventually admit that yeah, that tight snare drum sounds really good. The main snare for Around the Fur and White Pony is a vented 20 ply 14 by 6 maple with vent holes. Thick plies equal high frequency with less resonance. The thicker the shell, the higher the tone. For this sound demo, I'm going to be using a Yamaha Live Custom Hybrid Oak. For this sound reference, I'm going to be using this snare, which I happen to have sitting right next to me. This is a PDP by DW Concept Birch 14 by 5.5. It's a great drum and you can get a lot of sounds out of it. Number two, know what sound you're going for. As I said before, Abe used primarily the OCDP vented snare for Around the Fur and White Pony. By the time they got to self-titled, he was using a Tama Bell Brass. The Bell Brass is a 14 by six that he's used on every album since then, including their most recent release, Ohms. I do not own a Tama Bell Brass, but I do own a Yamaha Recording Custom Brass Snare in the same size. The tone is awesome, and it's very similar to the Bell Brass. Here's a couple examples. I wanted to let you all know that I'm streaming on Twitch on Thursdays and Sundays. I do an all vinyl music show and it's a good time. So if you want to come by and check it out, I'd love to see you there. This Sunday, the 27th, I'm doing a special all Deftones, all vinyl stream. That's right. All, all Deftones, Deftones, all vinyl, 7.30 to 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time. This Sunday, the 27th, 7.30 to 11.30. It's going to be a real good time. Come by and check it out. Number three, using deep snare drums. On Saturday Night Wrist, he starts using a Tama Babinga snare. The dimensions of this drum are 14 by eight. That is deep. 
you can really hear the depth of this drum on Cherry Waves. That deep sound is absolutely perfect for the ethereal sound of that song. Here's a really cool fact about Cherry Waves and something that I never noticed until researching for this video. In the verse, he's playing the Babinga snare drum and then he overdubs a concert bass drum. This gives it a really cool sound that works really well with the ethereal vibe of the song. Then, when it goes to the chorus, he's playing a full kit with a higher tuned snare. This is something that I never noticed, but when I went back and listened, I was like, oh yeah, that's so cool. You can really appreciate the contrast between the two parts. On the song Risk, it sounds like he's using the bell brass, but it's just tuned down slightly. Number four, good ears to pick the right snare for the song. So much goes into getting a good snare drum sound. First, you have to pick the type of drum you want to use, then figure out what type of heads you want to use, then tune it the way you want for the song, and then figure out how you're gonna mic it, and then figure out what you wanna do for post-production in terms of mixing and mastering. The sticks also come into play. Abe's signature stick, the Cool Breeze by Vader, is a larger stick, which really allows for a good wallop when you hit the snare. It's another reason that his sound is so big. Big sticks make for bigger drum sounds. Hey, what's up, y'all? Down here in the drum lab. If you dig this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Peace. By the time they were recording Koi no Yokan, Abe had added the Tama Starphonic Brass to his arsenal. It's very important to make sure that the snare drum sound matches the vibe of the song. For Intomed, you have a slower paced song and you don't necessarily need that crack and that super aggressive sound from the snare drum. Because of this, Abe uses a snare that is tuned very low. It's also processed with a lot of compression to really get that big, fat, warm sound. Abe thinks a lot about orchestration, 
and you can definitely tell that he's thinking about how to build the song. When you start with the warm, deep snare drum, and then for the chorus, you go with a higher pitched, snappier snare drum that cuts through more, you build that electricity. So then when the chorus comes in, you get that explosion. It's a great sound. It wasn't until 2015 that Tama dropped the Abe Cunningham signature snare. Abe took the vent holes from his OCDP drum and put them into a brass shell, thus creating his signature drum. It took good ears and a knowledge of drum building to know that merging the OCDP and the bell brass would make a good sound. Abe's signature snare is a 14 by 6, 3 millimeter thick brass shell with four 2 inch vent holes. It is bright and full bodied. Abe used his signature snare for everything on ohms except for the spell of mathematics where he used a bell brass. Another post processing trick that you can hear in ohms is on the song Error. There's a clap that fires every time the snare hits. It's a very cool sound. Number five, use a side snare for variation. In a lot of these songs, especially when playing live, Abe will have a very loose snare off to the left side of his hi-hat. On verses for some of these songs, he'll use the big fat snare drum sound, and then for the chorus, use more of a regular or highly tuned snare. We've talked about how a lot of Deftones songs have a very low pitched snare in the verse and a higher tuned snare in the chorus. When he's playing these live, he'll have the low pitched snare off to the left of his hi-hat so he can play it in the verses and then switch to the main snare in the choruses. A great example of this is the song Beware. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm planning to post more regularly, so please leave a comment telling me what kind of content you'd like to see. I love Deftones, I love rock, I love all styles of music, and especially Deftones. Also, I've been a full-time drummer for the past 10 years, so if you ever need a live drummer or someone for session work, hit me up. I also teach drum lessons, so if you're interested, you can hit me up for that too. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace.